Hello guys, it's Pedro here. I just arrived from Jarama. I had a fantastic weekend there with the SCS team. A lot of fun. I did a lot of shooting, lots of news for you guys. This is the first video, the first interview I made with Daniel Namiro, community manager for SCS software. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to see some comments. Stay safe and drive safe. Okay guys, hello once again. We are here inside of the SCS truck, you know, it's a really privilege and honor to be here. Uh, as you know, they are now using an Ivic Australis, a good truck. Uh, some of you don't like it, but well, yeah. what we can afford. <laughs> uh, we are here now with Daniel, uh, as known or more known as Namiro. He's a communication manager for the SCS. Yeah. He's been touring with this truck uh, all over the championship and the other events. Uh, so some of you guys might know him or some of you guys that went to the events might know him uh, Daniel, how are you? Fine, fine, thanks. Yeah? Thanks okay. for coming. You enjoying? Yeah? yeah, thank you too. You enjoying this uh, Spanish sun, this Spanish weather? Yeah, yes yeah? I am because uh, at this time back in Prague we have uh, really cold days already so... Okay, soon we will return to the cold weather. Yeah, okay, to the so north. Enjoy to the north, <laughs> yeah, to the north. <laughs> So, Daniel, uh, speak a little bit about yourself inside the SCS before we speak in the event. Uh, what do you do in the company? What's your position? And, uh... Okay, so I'm a community manager, as you were saying already. So, but you know that's that's uh, title is more like a label, just like a label, because I'm involved in many other things that are not strictly like. like a, tighten it to community manager yeah. position so I run the social media platforms and channels in our company I organize these events our participation in expos and shows and other things like that I can, I'm, I'm so I'm also one of the member of the SCS on the road crew for the second okay. year and when we are not on the travels I'm also the lead uh, game developer of the special transport DLCs the one that for for ETS2 has already been released yeah. and the American Truck Simulator is about to get one pretty soon yeah so you must be a very talented guy to, to do all <laughs> these type of things well I don't yeah. know it's up to up to someone else to decide if I'm if I am talented or not okay okay guys will just use the comments <laughs> from the video to, to spread yeah. your word. Well. So, in regarding these these events, so um, what I think that you you, you we, mu we must we can't separate these type of events. I think this uh, at the, the FIA races are more for the fan based uh, thing. Of course, that you also receive people from the industry. Yeah. And events like the EAA, uh, as, uh, like you were in Germany uh, a couple of weeks ago. Are more for the products itself, yeah, from yeah. The, the truck licensing, the, yeah. the trailer manufacturers, and everything that has with trucks. What what the feeling that you have from the fan base community in this type of events? What's the feedback the people gave to you guys on the road? Because you you go to such different countries, yeah, such yeah. different cultures. Yeah. What the general feedback that you have from from the fans? Yeah, the general feedback is you know great, really great. All all the fans that visit our SCS Sim Trailer really likes our uh, our games and also to play our games on the 4D motion seats because you know it's something pretty unique, pretty yeah. cool. So they are they are really really interested about it. And uh, yeah, as as you as you told, uh, each country is a little bit different because you know, different people, different culture, different habits. But so far we had a. Uh, great times in in every every country we step with our trailer so that was great you know the FIA ETRC events are more about the younger audience yeah. because we are here to provide fun for the visitors of these events the EAA uh, event was more to gather new contests gather new opportunities meet uh, big sharks from big companies yeah and for example the gamescom was also different because it was focused strictly to the game game yeah. gamers and uh, game communities uh, with some kind of publishers and so yeah 
Yesterday, Kevin yesterday, yesterday while I was sneaking around, I had the opportunity to speak with some fans, you know, and uh, some of them, it's really amazing because there are guys traveling a lot of uh, big distance, a mm -hmm. lot of kilometers, like myself. Yeah. Uh, just to, uh, not for the racing event itself, but to meet you guys, to see the SCS truck and trailer, to test the simulators. Um, and this is amazing. I think this is yeah. something you don't see in the communities like the FIFA and the Battlefield or, you know, people tend to like the game itself, not the company or the team. What do you feel about this, knowing that there are guys traveling a lot just to meet well, you in person? This is, the, this is the best part of, you know, my and our job because when we are, when we are participating in events like this, you know we are pretty used to that uh, local local visitors are really interested about the games and they are having a great time to play it but when someone came and told us that okay i've traveled 600 kilometers just to meet you and he or she doesn't even care about the race here yeah. it's you know it's so much it's so motivating for us it's 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 simply amazing you know to yeah, that's, yep. I think it's the best community someone yeah, it can have. It is. It's not only about the product itself, yeah. but also about the team yeah. who develops the product. I think that's what you guys yeah. reach. You know, uh, so I think that our community is really great in this way because I'm a gamer for for my own my own life, my, my baby. whole life. Yes, yeah, baby. baby. <laughs> yeah, and I've been through a lot of communities as a gamer. You know, for um, all the all type third person shooter games yeah. and. Uh, RPGs and but the track sim community is really different, you know, in this in this good way. And yeah. Not I, not so many haters. Yeah, I think it has to be, you know, it has something to do with the um, the passion about trucks because most yeah. of these people, younger or older, doesn't matter, have had some relation or some familiar relation yeah. with trucks. They are sons of drivers or news of drivers so i think it has something to do with that and that yeah. that's what turns this community so special yes so one last question what can we expect uh, i already talked to pavel he, we don't know yet if you guys will be on the road well at least at fia with fia for the next year but what can you expect uh, in the in the future uh, can we expect uh, more events, more uh, countries? What can you tell tell us about this, or or, or what what uh, ideas you have to yeah. be approach with the community, with the you know, with the events in the in the field? Yeah, definitely, it's not the end of our traveling. You know, we we still don't have the the actual plan of events we would like to visit for next year, but we are also already gathering our ideas that we would love to visit countries where we've never been before you know so maybe it will be a different list of events that was this year we are pretty interested for example in the nordic trophy event it's uh up up to north really really yeah. or not, north, not, not, the central not, north. not <laughs> yeah not czech republic but really <laughs> in the north and um, and that's because the V8 engine from Scania will be celebrating 50 years yeah. next year. Yeah. There will be a huge event, you know, and yeah. we think that we should be there. So, for example, Nordic Trophy, and we are also, we are, yeah, well, probably we will be participating in Gamescon again because you know yeah, we need to be there. Event, yeah, yeah, it's a major event for us. And the EAA will not be uh, next year because it's only one each two years. But uh, if our top management and uh, guys from FIA will decide that we are going to participate in third season, then okay, we'll be traveling around yeah, all these events again. And we will see again. you. Yeah. Yeah. Because you must be here. You are the. Yeah. You know, you you are there for the two, the first two seasons. So, in Portugal, we say there are not two without three. So yeah, that's the thing. Okay, Daniel. Thank you very much for your time. Do you have any final messages, especially for the Spanish guys here Special. and the and the Portuguese community? You know yeah, that I'm I representing here somehow. Yeah, I have, and I think that uh, I should say that they don't need to worry because we don't forget about Iberia, and Good. it will come. Okay, and thank you very be. much for your time. Yeah, thank uh, you for joining us. Have a nice flight.
yeah. tomorrow to, 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 to the north. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> just to, to put you through, guys, this uh, of the north thing, it's just a private joke that we had here. Because I keep saying that Czech Republic is the north. Of course, we are in Portugal. Yeah, we are, we are basically Vikings. <laughs> yeah, and uh, well, Daniel said it's not north, it's central, but well, anyway. Yeah. So, guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to check our channel. Leave some comments below, you know. Uh, subscribe to get in touch don't forget also to visit the social networks from SES software Twitter Facebook wherever you know yeah. and they will stay tuned for every announcement that they make thank you cheers and thank you